Steph and I had just spent a long season working in Antarctica, and we were ready for someplace warm. Colorado was still covered in snow, so we decided to take the camper on a trip to the deserts of Arizona and southern Utah. The sunshine and those red rocks were calling our name. Hey everybody, welcome to Venture Out There. I'm Mike, and we're getting out to uh, have a little venture this next couple of weeks. We're heading across Utah and Arizona to do some exploring, some of the uh, beautiful rocks, parks, and other things. And uh, one of our first stops here, as you can see behind me, is Elephant Feet. This is a cool formation right off the road in the Navajo Reservation. Uh, makes it an easy stop, and it is just really cool to come up and check them out. So come along for the ride and let's go have some fun exploring and getting out there. The Moan Kopi dinosaur tracks are another great stop right off the road. They were formed in the early Jurassic period approximately 200 million years ago and have been verified by paleontologists from Northern Arizona University. Pulling up, you'll see a few Navajo jewelry stands. A Navajo will likely greet you and ask if you'd like to take a tour. There is no admission fee, nor are you under any obligation to take a tour to explore this very cool place, but we would recommend you do. The site is located on the Navajo Reservation and is a source of income for them. Although not all of the information will be 100% correct, they'll show you fossils that you won't likely spot on your own, and it's worth the $5 to $20 tip depending on the size of your group and how good the guide was. The dinosaur tracks are not protected, so please be considerate. Good morning from just outside of Grand Canyon National Park. Just outside the South Rim, we're close to a town called Tusayan. And this is a great place to come camping if you don't have a reservation in the park or maybe even as a good alternative. Uh, park campgrounds are pretty busy and really it's pretty quiet out here. Let me show you around the campground here a little bit. Hopefully the wind noise isn't too much. But this is really typical of the campsites off of this road. This is a forest service road outside of uh, Tusayan. It literally leaves from in the little village down there and comes up the hill from the village. And there are dozens of these sites up the road here. This one has a little bit of a muddy entrance to it, but several of them have big pull-through campers in them, so there's a lot of options. We have uh, pretty good cell service here. I've uh, got the Wi-Fi, or rather the cell antenna, up on the camper, and that's helping pull in a decent signal. But even with just the phone, we're able to get a decent signal here. The Grand Canyon wasn't originally on our itinerary when we decided to do this two-week Arizona-Utah trip, but it was on the way and we hadn't been here for quite a while, so thought we'd stop in and, and take a look around. Uh, unfortunately, we've got very high wind warnings today. Trees are blowing behind me and it's only supposed to get worse. So we were planning to do a little hike along the rim, but I don't think that's going to happen. We'll, we'll probably go check out some of the overlooks, enjoy the views and uh, take advantage of the fact that they have a dump station and potable water here and go ahead and take care of that. And then we're gonna head on down into Flagstaff. We'll be visiting a friend, going out to dinner tonight in Flagstaff, and then camping somewhere just outside of the town before we head down to Sedona.
Good morning from halfway between Flagstaff and Sedona, Arizona. And I'm not sure what you can hear on this, uh, but it is windy out here. It blew like crazy last night and kept us up part of the night, uh, mostly worrying about things like these big trees next to us up here and whether they were gonna blow down in the middle of the night. But uh, all was well and we made it through just fine. We stopped to uh, visit a friend and have dinner and enjoyed dinner last night. So we ended up pulling in here after dark and didn't quite know uh, what we were looking at with, uh, with the camping situation. I hate coming into a place after dark, but sometimes it's worth it. Came up a fairly steep dirt forest road here, fairly bumpy and thought, uh, oh good, I'll put it in four wheel drive. It just helps with some of the slippage and Got up here and parked in the dark and uh, felt real good about myself for getting up here. And then no sooner did I wake up and look out the window this morning, but I don't know if you can see behind me, but there's a full-size school bus. So I kind of deflated the four-wheel drive truck ego a little bit, but that's okay. I got to say this person must be a professional school bus driver to get up this road and back in a, a windy road back here to get to where he's parked. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna go take a little walk around here. I'm gonna walk over to the rim behind me and get a look at the view before we head on down into Sedona and try to get out of some of this wind and cold weather that's come upon us. So you can see up on the edge of the cliff here is a burn scar. Doesn't look too old either, which is unfortunately fires are become more prevalent up in this area the last several years. So we went to bed last night. It was a little windy, had the hurricane force, or at least it felt like that, winds overnight. Got up this morning to rain on the camper, looked outside, we had a little bit of hail, which turned to sleet, and now we're back to wind. But since we had some of the bad weather here, I spent an hour taking care of some work inside, was able to uh, use the hotspot and the Wi-Fi antenna, and uh, go ahead and uh, yeah, put in an hour's work or so, catching up on things. And now we're gonna head down into the valley. Oak Creek Canyon is the main route from Flagstaff to Sedona. The vista at the top gives you a great view of the twisty road to come. As the elevation drops, the pine trees give way to the oaks. These eventually thin out and give way to juniper as the views open up to a magnificent display of the red rocks this area is famous for.
Well, good evening. Uh, we are currently camped sort of uh, northwest of Cottonwood, Arizona, out here in some Forest Service land. And it was a bit of a tough day today just because we did not get very good sleep last night with all the winds. We uh, did a few things, had a nice lunch, walked around Sedona a bit, but some of the plans that we had hoped to do, maybe take a short hike and see a few other things, just didn't pan out because we were just way too tired. So we found camp early tonight, settled in. Uh, Steph's taking a little nap and we'll uh, get some dinner here and enjoy the evening. In the meantime, I'll show you a little bit of the view here. We're, we're camped down in a little bit of a valley over here and uh, the sun is setting though over in the west and behind me back here if you can see it i don't know but uh, see the red rocks of sedona with the setting sun on them really a beautiful evening sun's still the, the wind the wind is still blowing a little bit it's supposed to settle down through the night so i'm hoping we get a decent night's sleep tonight and we're going to be heading south to visit some friends in Cave Creek, Arizona, before making our turn and, and heading back north to enjoy Utah. In the meantime, I'm just gonna relax, enjoy the sunset, take in the beautiful red rocks, and uh, hopefully get a good night's sleep. Good evening, everybody. The next day we hit our southernmost point at Cave Creek, Arizona. We came to visit an old friend named Beef who owns and operates his blacksmithing business called Desert Rat Forge. He makes custom steel structures that are both practical and beautiful. He's also building his own shipping container based home that is coming together to be quite spectacular. Deef was also instrumental in restoring and operating the Golden Reef Stamp Mill, set up a museum in Cave Creek. It has been restored and operates for regular demonstrations. The mill was used to hammer ore into a fine dust so the silver could be separated in mercury baths. There's a working tramway segment, and Deef also puts on blacksmithing demonstrations at the site. Hey Deef, thanks for the personal tour. We look forward to return visit to watch it run. Tonight's campsite is what I would call an epic campsite. It took us a few miles off the road to get here, but we're perched up on a really beautiful outcropping on a ridge up here. And behind me are the red rocks of Sedona at sunset. And it really doesn't get much more amazing than this for a place to stay for the night. The wind has died down finally. We've got the moon up above us up here. Not quite full yet, a few more days. The colors are truly amazing. You really just don't see colors like this anywhere else. It really is beautiful.
Good morning. We had a really nice campsite last night. Didn't hear a peep, not a vehicle nearby. It was quiet, calm, no wind. I think it's our first night we haven't had some wind. And we got here in time to watch a beautiful sunset on the Red Rocks, which was quite amazing. And woke up this morning with this as our view back here. It just doesn't get much better than this as far as an epic campsite goes. We really enjoyed it here. Give you a little quick tour of this campsite. We're eh, roughly eight-ish miles off of the main road between Sedona and Cottonwood. And there's a really nice gravel road that comes out most of this way. And then you take a side road to get up here. The side road gets a little rough, might weed out some of the trailers, but uh, two-wheel drive would be fine. A uh, little extra clearance, helpful, but probably not absolutely required. There are a couple of washout spots that you need to travel through. Let me uh, give you a look around. So here's the side road we came in. It goes through a wash uh, just up the road a little ways, which gets a little twisty and a little bumpy. So over here off of this uh, side road is the little spur to our campsite. And it's a nice, uh, I guess you'd call it a pull through site, but it's a pretty tight turn. And it's perched right up here on the edge of a little bluff where it drops down into a, a small, small valley down here. But being up here on the edge of the bluff really means you get all of these nice, wonderful views looking out at the Red Rocks. We've been taking our time this morning. This is our kind of our turnaround point. Really up to this point, the trip has been just about getting down here. We've enjoyed a couple things along the way, but we kind of made a quick run down, just stopping at a few points, visiting a couple of friends and enjoying ourselves with that. So thanks for joining us here on this uh, quick run down to Arizona from Colorado. I hope you enjoyed a chance just to see a couple of the campsites, see what it's like coming down here. Uh, unfortunately, we had some wind, so you can see what that's like too. And this is the shoulder season here in early spring, so that's always a possibility. But uh, weather's turned great for now. We're ready to slow down and head back north and take you along with us. We're gonna call this a wrap for this video right now, but uh, stay tuned and there will be more to come up in Utah. Take care everybody, and we hope to see you out there.